It's the WNBA on 2K Sports. Welcome in, everybody. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Atlanta Dream going up against the Dallas Wings. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. And guys, how much weight should we put on these early season standings? Well, you have to give credit to the team at the top. They found the winning formula. Now it's just about maintaining success. Yeah, I agree. But there's plenty of time for the standings to change. Some of these units have gotten off to a slow start because they're still learning how to play with each other. And here's Ryan Howard from the arc. That one's off. She starts the game with a miss. Pass to McCowan. Mabry. Outside, Agumawale. The floater, and she lays it up and in. For any under six foot guard like Ogobinwale, the teardrop is a must. Allows you to score over bigs in the paint. Here's Billings. Parker up top from beyond the arc. And it's rebounded by Satu Saboli. Here's Dallas now. Pass to Mabry. And we're about one minute into the first. And it's Gray missing. Outside Hayes. Wasabili with the block. Wasabili's length gives her such an edge defensively. She was more than prepared to send that shot away. Here's Wheeler. Drills the three-pointer. And it's the wings ball. Outside Mabry. Pass to Sabali. Agun Bawale. Shoots over Wheeler. And it's Atlanta with the rebound. You just assume she's going to knock those down when she's as open as she was there. Poked loose. And there's the call on Agunba Wale. That is her first foul of the game. First team foul. Ryan Howard from the arc. That's four misses on their first five attempts. Still trying to get to the flow offensively. The 2010s, a very eventful decade for this Dallas franchise. At the, at the start of the 2010s, they had just moved from Detroit to Tulsa. Then they moved again from Tulsa to Dallas in 2016. And the D definitely slow reacting to the step back that time. Howard inside. Gray defending. To the paint. Outside Wheeler. Four on the clock. Hits it from three-point range. And for this Wings organization, unfortunately, they struggled in the 2010s. Yeah, just one season with a winning record, but now that they've settled in the Big D, they are much more comfortable in Texas. So I expect the 2020s to be much more fruitful for the Wings. Now here's the Gumbawale. Pass to Mabry. That's the three fly. Rebounded by Parker. Yeah, she didn't punish them for the weak coverage that time, but they just can't count on her missing. Absolutely, Brian. She's got to go right back to that shot. Of four years of college basketball, Erica Wheeler averaged just about seven points per game. Undrafted out of school, Wheeler's game has translated really well to the WNBA. That one's off. And Erica Wheeler, her scoring average has gone up in the WNBA. Well, she's also been top 10 in the league in assists. And really some players like Wheeler, when they get to the pro game, they thrive because it's more of an open game and it's played at a quicker pace. She hits the second from the line. 
Like her chances at the line, Erica Wheeler doesn't let any part of her game slip. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Here's Agumawale. Here's Sabali. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Atlanta on D. Pass to McCowan. Gray, six to shoot. Screen by McCowan. Goes back up. And that's two points on the layup. Nice play by the ball handler and McCowan. Finding an opening using the pick and roll. And here's Billings. Now Parker. Shoots a three. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. Now here's Mabry. Gray outside. Pastor Gumawale. Two points. That one goes in. Well, the best scorers oftentimes have an inside and outside game. And Gumawale flashes signs of both. Now here's Wheeler. He's got seven. with the ball. With the teardrop, and she takes it up and lays it in. That's a clever, clever shot by Howard. Going for the floater instead of pushing it all the way to the hoop. Outside Mabry, pass to Sabali. From 11 feet away, it's rebounded by Atlanta. Outside Howard. Here's Hayes from deep. The shot comes out. Here's Gray. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Down low. Here's McCowan. Yes, and a nice assist from Marina Mabry. Another lead change. How many of these are we going to see? I don't know, but I'm willing to bet it's more than a few. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. Well, as an offensive player, you always want to put pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about. Now here is Hayes. Gets that one to fall after missing her first two. One for three from the field. Well, a quick first step is only a part of what makes Hayes so elusive. Here's Mabry. Pass to Sabali. 11 feet out. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Atlanta in the lead. Wheeler with it. Howard. Gray defending. Howard inside. That one drops for her second bucket. Marker two for four. Few players make interior scoring look as effortless as Ryan Howard does. She has got just such a fluid offensive game. Dallas calls timeout.
So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Harrison. On the wing, Kayla Thornton. Pass to Harris. The screen by Collier. And a miss there on the triple. And here the dream. Three-point lead. Now Wallace. Now here's Coffee. Clock at six. Launches a three. Another shot. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. And we'll go to the line. It's going to be on Charlie Collier. What a play in attack mode and get inside. And the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. No good on the free throw. Well, in terms of Atlanta, the future of this franchise has to be Ryan Howard, the first overall pick of the 2022 draft. Howard is a dynamic player. That one misses. And for the dream, Ryan Howard hit the ground running in her rookie season. And her first week in the WNBA, Ryan Howard was the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. It had been 20 years since a rookie won the honor in their opening week. From the jump, Ryan looking like a franchise-level player. Here's Wallace. Looking for a first basket still in this one. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right. Their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. Now here's Harris. They trail by three. And so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Oh, for the last several seasons, the Wings have been a young team. Searching for a solid core, making a lot of high draft picks. And for this Dallas Wings organization, they're hoping the investment in youth pays off. I think it will. You know, they're building break, things the right break. way here in Two Dallas shots. and not taking any shortcuts. This is going to be a fun team to watch for years and years. And the first one falls for her. Not heavily recruited in high school, undrafted out of college. Kayla Thornton is a great underdog story. Finally becoming a WNBA starter at 25. Both shots good from the strike. Looking back at the Atlanta franchise, they had an incredible run from 2010 to 2013, making the WNBA Finals three times in four seasons. Now here is Charles. Goes up with the strike. Atlanta gets it back. Vaughn, that's good. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. And I know nobody likes a traffic jam, but this defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Yeah, nobody likes a traffic jam. We can agree on that. They can't allow the offense to get those high-quality looks inside. That one goes in. During that dream run of WNBA Finals appearances, they never quite could get over the hump and grab a title. But, man, those teams were special. Well, on that uh, 2013 team that lost in the finals, the Dream had future all-stars like Jasmine Thomas, Tiffany Hayes, Alex Bentley. Uh, just a loaded roster. It's Burton. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Pick by Thornton. Here's Harris. They get it again. Thornton's shot is good. Persistence. It's one of the main components of Thornton's game. A motor that just keeps on going. Turning the board into points. Pass to Wallace. Coffee. Outside Charles. Now Wallace. 
Teams foul. The lot of third person. First personal foul. Teams first. Fourth team foul. Here's Wallace. Covered by Harris. Wallace misses. Well, she rushed that one. The D was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. And here's Burton. Pass to Harrison. Shoots over Coffee. Harrison no good. Now here's McDonald. She's guarded closely. Charles with it. Over Thornton. He got it up in time, but it just wouldn't fall for us. And at the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Wings out in front, up by one. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of this break. A closely contested game here at the start of the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen from the wings, what do you guys think? There hasn't been a lot of settling for outside shots really early on. Yeah, they've done a good job to work it low and not take the easy way out on offense. No shortcuts. Pound it low. Dallas leading. Now Mabry. On the wing, Alicia Gray. It's rebounded by Atlanta. Outside Wheeler. Down it goes for her third basket and as many tries. A float game, folks. Check it out. Wheeler's got it. Nice little teardrop. Outside Agumawale. Teardrop shot. And it's good on the layup. Now here's Wheeler. Pass to Hayes. Billings. Howard with the ball. Picked up by Sabali. Well, there are so many things that players like to do to unwind. But what if I told you that Ryan Howard loves to draw and that painting cartoon characters is her favorite? They need to get way more disruptive defensively. They just can't keep allowing these easy buckets. You know, get a little physical. Show some effort. Defensively, that's job number one. Effort, nothing easy inside. Now here's Parker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Shot clock at six. Here's Hayes. Kept alive by Atlanta. Billings. From down in the low post, it goes. Terrific job to convert the putback. Uh, she uh, stayed with that play from start to finish, and that's something we say about her a lot. Now here's a Wale. Eight points for her. Marina Mabry on the wing. She's guarded by Hayes. Back to McCowan. It's rebounded by Atlanta. And one of the brightest young stars in the league, Ryan Howard. Howard, just so many off-the-floor talents. In addition to, to painting, Howard loves to crochet. Nay, I mean, she plays the piano, creates graphics. And Ryan Howard, just a, a brilliant player and a brilliant person. Boy, it's been a back-and-forth game. Both teams trading shots and trading leads. It's been neck and neck. What a game we've had. Now here's Mabry. Pass to Sabali. From 11 feet away. Rebounded by Parker. Atlanta in the lead. Quarter number two and around three minutes gone by. Right side, Hayes. Takes the three. Can't hit that one. So Dallas will take it the other way. Here's Agunba Wale. Agunba Wale is doubled. McCowan. And there's the foul. It'll go on Hayes. 
Tiffany. That is her first foul of the game. First two foul. Outside. Shot clock at five. Here's the floater, and the layup is good. Showing great court awareness. Gray has a knack for making the right reads and pick and rolls. Pass to Billings. Howard. And here's Parker. Outside Wheeler. She gets it in there. It seems like they couldn't get anything to fall in the opening quarter, but, but things finally are starting to look up. Yeah, things are starting to look up indeed, Tim. You nailed it. I mean, they're starting to really make amends for their slow start. And we love it, because guess what? We love offense. Yeah, I love offense. And it's Gray missing. Pass to Hayes. the glass to finish the layup. Possesses uh, unique capabilities. Hayes simply commands respect when she's got the ball in her hands. Now here's a Wale. Eight points for her. Mabry. And McCowan gets the whistle that time. That's her first foul. In terms of the history of the Atlanta Dream, they went 4-30 and 30 in their expansion season back in 2008. However, the good news, they won the lottery for the 2009 draft. And now the Wings, fast break. Oh! And a foul called on the shot. Got her on the way up that time, so she'll shoot two. First personal foul. And winning that 2009 lottery meant that the Dream could select Angel McCautry with the first overall pick. Yeah, Angel helped turn things around quick in the ATL. In her first season, the Dream went to the playoffs. In her second season, Atlanta was in the WNBA Finals. McCautry really is the greatest player in Dream history. And the first one drops. The number one pick in the 2021 draft. There is a lot of hype around Charlie Collier, and there's a lot to like. An incredible talent. And that one falls, so she hits both of them. Well, the Wings have been in Dallas since 2016, but before that, they had two other stops as a franchise. Joining the league in 1998 in Detroit, and then a move to Tulsa in 2010. Now here's Howard. Coffee left side. Over Thornton. Coffee no good. Going back to when the Wings were in Detroit, they had so much success. Winning three titles in Motown, just like the bad boy Pistons of the late 80s and early 90s, their hallmark was tough defense, taking on the identity of their city. That's a precision shot, no room for error on the floater. McDonald with it. She hasn't scored yet, that I'm sure will change. And Agubawale picks up the foul. That's foul number two for her. That's her second foul, and the last thing she wants to do is pick up a third foul here because it's just way too early in the game for that. Outside Charles. Five on the clock. Esteban from deep three-point range. That shot off the mark. And Dallas the other way now. It's Burton, guarded by McDonald. Out to the left wing. Thornton outside. Now Burton 
She tries for three. But they'll get another chance. Call your right side. Harrison sets the screen. To the middle. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Great footwork by Harrison. So active. A very nice pick and roll partner who will cut hard. Back to McDonald. Pass to Vaughn. Screen by Coffee. They need this. Off the left rim and out. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebounding stats uh, for both teams are almost identical. Yeah, they battle to a standstill on the boards, but the game isn't over yet. We'll see who keeps up the energy. Now here's Harrison. Pass to Burton. Ball's knocked loose. A steal by McDonald. Now here's Coffee. Covered by Collier. Offensive board. Vaughn. And that's good. A nice job on the glass, and they pick up the two on the second effort. It's Burton. Guarded by McDonald. Pass to Harris. The screen by Collier. Harris can't hit. And here's McDonald. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. With the fadeaway, the rebound by the wings. Being that close to the hoop, I thought she had enough room to nail that one. Harrison sets the screen. Pass to Collier. Thornton. Back to Collier. Fires from 18. Rebounded by Coffee. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. It's stolen by Harrison. Over to the left wing. Now here's Harris. D right on her. The nine-foot shot. Harrison no good. Not pretty. You gotta just uh, shake off a miss like that. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's McDonald. That doesn't go either for Ari McDonald. Now here is Thornton. Guarded by McDonald. Thornton's shot is good. She might be undersized to 6 1 forward, but Thornton makes up for it with touch. Finds ways to score down low. Now McDonald. Elbow shot on the way. And that one goes long. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Wings out in front, leading by just two. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. It's been a back and forth game with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter getting started here. And it's been one outstanding game from Erica Wheeler. Her decision making simply flawless today. Nothing but quality shots from her in the first half. She wasn't forcing anything. Yeah, but I think here in the second half, they may want her to be a little more assertive and start taking more shots 
even the tough ones. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. Outside Mabry. Pass to Gray. Agumba Wale with it. Launches it. That one falls. Great assist by Saju Sabu. Well, we know Agumba Wale has the shooting touch, and she's more than comfortable extending her range. Well, during her college days, Arike Agumbawale burst onto the national scene back in 2017 after hitting the game-winning shot in the college tournament semifinal. Parker, McCowan defending. Pass to Howard. There's the three. Buries it from three-point range. And Arike hit not one, but two incredible shots during that 2017 college tournament. After that semifinal winner in the national title game, Arike hit a wide open three at the buzzer to win it all. One of the all-time moments in women's basketball history. Atlanta trailing here. Billings guarded by Sabali. Outside Howard. Parker with the screen. And the dream, another three. You can always expect Howard to run the pick and roll with precision. She mastered it in college, but she's only gotten better in the pros. Now here's Mabry. On the wing, Alicia Gray. There's a screen by McCowan. And Gray gets it to go. They're finding lanes to the hoop every time down. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Or at least some fight. Hayes up top, Avery covering. Back to Parker. Wheeler, pass to Hayes. Six on the shot clock. With some art. And there's the nice layup by Wheeler. They're three of four to start the half. And no lack of aggression on that move. And that's good enough for the 2K drive. What a big play here in a close game like this one. Great concentration. Now here's a Wale. She's covered closely. There's a screen by McCowan. To the inside. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. That would be four in a row for them now as they have come out racing out of the gate to start the second half. Pass to Billings. Hayes. Wheeler. Guarded now by Agunga Wale. Here's Howard. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight shooting night. A nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. Now McCowan. Wale from long range. And again, it's the wings from deep. And guys, her consistent shooting, it's helped them take this lead. Pass to Hayes. Now Billings on the wing, Ryan Howard. They set a pick. Outside Hayes. Saju Savali with the block. Now here's Mabry. Gray outside. Screen by McCowan. Gray with it. And Parker picks her up defensively. Pass to Sabali. Cheyenne Parker grabs the miss. She's having all sorts of problems with her shots. Yeah, the words ice and cold come to mind with the way she's shooting the ball. Now here is Hayes. McCowan with the steal. Here's Mabry. And down it goes. Two points. Gotta do more than that to stop Mabry. She knows how to absorb contact. 
Well, when Dallas traded away Skyler Diggins-Smith, one thing became very clear. This was a Rike Ogubawale's team, and boy, has she ever stepped up as the face of the franchise. And the shot goes down. Nice work inside. Hard to get that one to go over the bigger defender. Well, it was never going to be easy. A little artistry on the inside. Call it maybe a Rembrandt. Now here's Mabry. He's got six. A nice shot by Agumbawale. Agumbawale, a steal in the 2019 draft, going fifth overall. A rookie of the year in that 2019 campaign. A first-team All-WNBA selection during her second year in 2020. Tarike winning a scoring title in that wobble season, solidifying herself as the leader of the Dallas Wings. Now here's Gray. Seven point game, the biggest lead in the game. Very good half for them from the field. They've got their shooting percentage up over 50%. Yeah, their uh, offense heating up. And anytime you shoot this well, you give yourself an excellent chance to win. Atlanta calls timeout. And so here is Atlanta. Nine point game. Pass to Wallace. Screen by Coffey. And she uses the glass on the layup. You gotta like the focus that they're showing here in the second. I see a lot more effort here as well. And that's what you wanna see. Now here's Harris. Three pointer. And again, it's Dallas with a three. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket for a terrific assist. You know, they've done a lot of that today. And, you know, it's something we haven't seen much at the opposite end of the court. Here's Vaughn. Pass to McDonald. <laughs> and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. That one on Agumo Wale. Making things happen. That's what McDonald oh, gives on. your team out of that court. And it's her first Daddy. trip to the line. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one misses. Before the 2021 season, the Dream had an ownership change. A welcome, fresh start for Atlanta. And the Wings making a change here. And she can't make the second free throw either, missing both. And interestingly enough, an ex-player is part of the new ownership group in Atlanta. Yeah, that's something I'd like to see more of going forward. Former players getting a chance to own teams. I think it would help the communication between the current roster and management. Here's Wallace. Carl's in the post. Collier's there. Pass to Coffee. 
back to Charles. And she banks in the layup. That's just fundamental basketball from Coffey. Nice job spotting the open teammate. Gordon outside. Collier. It's Burton. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Takes the three. Harris can't hit. Nothing's going down for her today. Here's Wallace. Covered by Harris. Inside. And McDonald gets it to go. You know, they've been extremely efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now here's Harris. The screen by Collier. Harris can't hit. Yeah, her touch has deserted her this quarter. Nowhere to be found. Outside McDonald's. Count that bucket. Wow. I mean, come on. That's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, it's just nowhere to be found. They have to start committing more bodies down low. It's Burton. Harris with it. Harrison defended by Coffee. Up top, Harris. The 11 footer. Banked in off the glass. Soft touch around the rim. You don't want Harris to catch you out of position inside. Outside Charles. Goes up high post. And there's another one for the dream. They're on track here in the second half after a very, uh, very shaky first. Their field goal percentage is steadily climbing. They, they couldn't make anything in the first half. Now here's Harris. He has five. Pass to Burton. To the inside. Burton. Yes, it's good. The want to generate more of those shots in tight. Atlanta trailing here. Outside Charles. Screen by Coffee. Kept alive by Atlanta. Vaughn, that's yeah. good. They can't afford to give her that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you have to fight over the top of it. And you need some help as well. Now here is Thornton. Eight points for her. Up top, Harris, guarded by McDonald. Fires from deep, and Harris gets it to go. And after a scoreless first half, she's come to life here in the second half. And here's McDonald. And she gets the bucket. Fantastic body control by McDonald, absorbing the contact. The third quarter comes to a close. It's the wings. Up five. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. This was an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for her. Yeah, she served her up some tasty room service right there, guys. Sweet time. And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. Pass to Billings. Howard. Outside Wheeler. Outside Hayes. This one for three. She's off on that one. And Dallas the other way now. They've led by as much as ten. Now Mabry. 
inside, Agumawale. Outside, Sobley. Off target from outside. She hasn't really done much on the offensive end, but she has worked within the team to help them get the lead. For three, Tiffany Hayes connects Tiffany. from three-point range. Three. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond the arc in the second half. And that's just what the doctor ordered, and they're really using that prescription to their advantage. You know, those three-point bombs will really erase this deficit quickly if they keep it up. And we weren't math majors, but three is more than two, right? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And here are the dream. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Now here's Howard. Outside Wheeler. Outside Howard. Six to shoot. Pass to Billings. That's in. Coming off an assist from Ryan Howard. And it's a tie ball game. Well, Howard just sees the floor so well. And the good thing is that over time, her court vision is only going to get better. Outside Mabry. Outside, Agumawale. Dallas, the rebound. Sabali. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. And offensive glass getting it done. Now here's Wheeler. Guarded now by Agumawale. Pass to Howard. Outside, Hayes. And again, Atlanta with the triple. Well, with such a detailed offensive skill set, Hayes gives defenders a ton of different looks. Now McCowan. Outside, Agumawale. Tried to come right back with the three of her own, but it's no good. Pass to Billings. Now Wheeler. Shoots over Agumawale. Wheeler can't get it to go. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. Outside Mabry. There's a screen by McCowan. There's a Goomba Wale with the three. Nailed from three-point land. Another for Ogilvy Wale. Remember, she led the WNBA in usage rate in a rookie season. She can carry a team offensively. Now here's Parker. That's good, and it's Ryan Howard with the assist. That's two bombs in a row from long range. They're starting to heat up. The defense has stepped slow. They've got to take away that airspace. Mabry with it. She's guarded by Hayes. Outside, Agumawale. Close one. That one drops for her. And so here's Atlanta. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Down low. And that one's good, Hayes. What a feel-good story, right? I mean, she has been much more effective in the second half than she was in the first. Now here's Agumba Wale. It's stolen by Howard. Hayes up top, Mabry covering. Now here is Hayes, guarded closely. Good for basket number seven tonight on a not so unlucky 13 shots. Now here's Mabry. Gray outside, screened by McCowan. Over Howard. Gray, no good. Atlanta leading. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing in control. Pass to Billings. Now Parker puts up the three. Here's Wheeler. It falls for the sixth time and seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. Now here's Mabry. She's guarded by Hayes. Crafty move. Mabry misses. 
Outside Wheeler. Pass to Howard. Offline with a three. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Such a wide open look. It's hard to find fault with anything she's doing this quarter. Well, offensively at least. Now Billings. Pass to Howard. Parker. Wheeler. Guarded now by Agungawale. Now Billings. An easy two points on the layup. There isn't a whole lot they're doing right defensively. They haven't been able to be on the same page here in the second half. Here's Agunbawale outside Mabry from deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Well, once again, I don't know what else to say. Marina Mabry proving she's one of the best shooters in the game. Pass to Billings. Outside Howard. Wheeler, guarded now by Agunbawale. Back to Parker. Soft touch off the glass. With an inspiring ability to push through adversity, Parker can be trusted in critical moments. Outside Mabry. Pass to Agunbawale. Clock at six. Shoots over Wheeler. Agumbawale, no good. And here is Hayes. Outside Wheeler. Howard. Outside Wheeler. Here's Billings. Rebound Dallas. She's a very strong finisher, guys. I'm surprised that she wasn't able to power that through the defense. Outside, Mabry. Outside, Agumbawale. And again, it's the wings from deep. Well, Agumbawale might be a younger player, but she has the poise of a veteran. She seems unfazed by the game's biggest moments. Here's Wheeler. Tight defense on her. Count that as her seventh field goal in ten tries. She's shooting a nifty 70%. Never afraid of the big moments. Wheeler with an important hoop in this one. Now here's a Kubawale. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. The second she got around the pick and shook her man. It was straight to the bucket for the easy deuce. Very well done. Here's Wheeler. Ooh, no luck on that one. Good work defensively by Tierra McAllen. Pass to Gumbawale. Wale's double. They now take the lead. Yes, Sabali stepping up. What an option late. She can do everything offensively. And Satsu can get a shot over almost any defender coming up big. Now here's Wheeler. To the middle. Billings. Connects! And tie game. That is a right there. Just dynamic in the pick and roll. Wheeler making things happen. And the wings call time here.
both teams changing it up here. Here's a good Wale. To the paint. Here's Sabali. It's good! Seems to elevate her play when it matters most. Sabali makes big plays in big moments. And the dream call time here. Group. There's no neutral gear, no matter what the lead is. It's only full speed ahead, and that's the type of basketball I love to watch. Yeah, 100 miles an hour. And the dream call time here. Yeah, what's your take, guys? Quick bucket and foul. It's a really the only option they have at this point. And the important thing, Tim, is who they foul. They don't want to send an ace to the line if they can avoid it. Exactly, Brian. Find the worst free throw shooter immediately. So here's Atlanta, trailing by four. Pass to McDonald, shoots the three, sinks it, and that shot brings them within just one. Big time from McDonald, and he is never going to hide in these big moments. And the Wings call time here.
foul intentionally, and they're going to have to do it again. They're not in a penalty yet. You know, they had to foul to stop that clock. That's really the enemy in this situation. Yeah, and who knows? A few misses at the stripe, and they're right there within range. I mean, knocked down a three or two. Who knows? And that's an intentional foul. Second team foul. As she doesn't get the first one to fall, really trying to focus now on the second. I just love how comfortable Mabry looks right now, willing to go to the line and take crucial shots. That's good, going one of two from the line. And that will put them up two. For the win! Oh, that shot had a chance, but the all or nothing shot attempt is off the mark. So it's Dallas straight by with the win. What a show they put on here at home tonight. These are those games that are so great to win and so hard to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat uh, just wondering what would happen next. So that's going to do it for this one, folks.